Hey guys, we're here again with Thorpian in order to do this, a short how do I find stuff video because I've been seeing a lot of the same questions again. So we're going to start with how do I find cheese. So as with all these how do I find videos, we're going to start in Workmolo because that's where you are when you're looking for stuff. So here we go. This is the bank. And in order to find cheese, you actually the easiest and best way to find cheese is to uh, ride your horse over to the baker Remy. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. Just going to ride our horse over to the baker and we're just going to buy the cheese from him. So that's the actual, the easiest way to obtain cheese. Um, if you need it for, say, the rat quest uh, to unlock the sewer agility course, or if you just want cheese to like make something. And then uh, right after that, I'm going to show you guys how to make cheese. So you're going to ride your horse over to Remy, and you're going to buy cheese. Um, that's, that, that, that. All right. Now, what about if you need to make cheese for some reason? Well, to do that, you're actually going to go to the park to get nettle leaves. But first, in order to be able to harvest the nettle, the nettle leaves, you're going to need farming gloves. Now, I've seen this question a lot. Where do I get farming gloves? So I'm going to show you. There's a pair of farming gloves that spawns in this flax field right here. So if you walk over to this corner and you'll see there's a pair of farming gloves. Now this respawns every, I don't know how many minutes, but you just walk over and you grab the, the farming gloves. Oh, and mine are disabled from picking up because I have it uh, locked as a drop from farmers because I don't actually want them. So I'll re-enable it and then I'll be able to pick up the farming gloves. And these are used for harvesting flax here in the field, or in our case, we're going to be using them to harvest nettle. Now, nettle leaves are over here. So we go this way to the east side of Wharf Molo. And we just hop over to this park, and you see these nettle leaves right here. Now, you're going to need level 6 farming in order to harvest these. But if you harvest them, you'll be able to have nettle leaves. Oh, there used to be one, so this is nice. So you just harvest the nettle leaves, and in order to make cheese, you go ahead and grab a bucket from the general store, or from your storage, but in this case we're going to the general store because it's closest. I'm just going to grab a bucket, and we're going to take this bucket over to the pasture, to the dairy cow, and that's really all you need in order to be able to make cheese just the bucket of milk and the nettle leaves and the nettle leaves is really the hard part i think everyone or most people can figure out how to get the other stuff so we're just going to make a couple cheese here and there we go we have cheese and that ladies and gentlemen is how you get cheese in this next section i'm going to show you guys how to get to the willow trees because this is another question I get very often. So again, we're starting at the bank here in Wharf Molo and we're going to travel north to the duck pond. So we're just going to hop on our horse here. Um, if you want details about what to do with the willow trees, you can check out my woodcutting guide. It'll be linked in the top right corner. Um, but if you look over here, we travel north to the willow trees and there they are. There's one right here and there's two right there so these are the closest willow trees the easiest to get to there is a third willow tree right there if you are interested in adding that to your rotation um, and the other place where you can find willow trees is in sky Garor. i'm not going to show you how to get to sky Garor because you can watch one of my other videos probably for that or you can just find it on the map so we're going to head over here to Skygoror, and we're going to go to the east side of Skygoror. And in the east of Skygoror, you will find a large patch of willow trees. Again, if you're interested in more details about these trees, check out the woodcutting guide that was linked in the last few minutes. And these orange things are also willow trees. Don't be thrown by the different colors. We're going into this little Sears Village area, and there are ad additional trees here. There's one, two, three trees once again. There is a fourth tree over here on this mountain, but it's kind of a pain to get to. And there's one over here in the corner. But your best bet is to go for one, two, and three. All right, guys, that's it for willow trees.
So this is going to be the third and longest portion of this uh, how to find stuff guide. And what we're going to find in this section is radiant sheep. Now, the number of people that have asked where to find radiant sheep is actually ridiculous. You guys don't need to get radiant wool. Just skip that and go to the next level of sheep. It's a lot easier. You don't have to travel all this way. I mean, radiant wool is which level? Hold on. Let me hop on my horse here so it doesn't despawn. Radiant wool is... That's not the way to check. This one. Gear, gear, gear. Not weapons. Containers? Offhand? What the heck am I looking for? Oh, right. It's in defense because that makes sense. Radiant wool is level 10. Just wait till you get to level 20 and can do a seer, seer gear. It's really not going to make that huge of a difference. I promise you guys. But anyway, point is, if you really want radiant wool, this is how you get there. You travel north from Wharf Molo and you head over to the Toll Bridge. So we're going to travel this way. Uh, again, as always, please beware of the robbers. If you're traveling on the road paths, they will kill you. It's not pleasant to be killed. Uh, it's a little more or less unpleasant now because you don't actually lose all your gear and stuff, but you will lose stackables and such. So, you know, not optimal. And the horses are still being funky, so we might end up running for a good portion of this guide. Unfortunately, there's no way to teleport uh, north of the toll bridge except with boots of travel, which I don't have yet, which makes me very sad. But they're very expensive and or impossible to find. Now we're just going to pay 150 coins to this lovely gentleman who doesn't have a name. His name is literally Toll Attendant. Can you imagine your whole life you work, you eat, you sleep, and at the end of the day, the only name you get is Toll Attendant? You're just defined by what you do really sad. Anyway, uh, this is how you get to the Radiant Sheep. You're going to head towards Tortuga. Now, notice you don't have to go into Tortuga. In fact, you don't want to go into Tortuga if you're trying to kill Radiant Sheep, because if you're at the level where you're killing Radiant Sheep, Tortuga mobs will kill you, and it's really kind of a pain to die, as we all know. So you head over here across this mountain. It's probably easier to go around the mountain instead of jumping, but you know me. I always go the wrong way first because it makes it more interesting. So we're going to travel this way. We're going to continue to travel past the scorpion pit. If you're interested in finding the scorpion pit, this is the way to do that. Um, down here you have some seagulls. You have the merman castle. Some beach boys and beach girls and some beach snails over there. A lot of acacia trees. This place is literally filled with them. And we're out of stamina. I should just like get some fruit when I do these things. Over here you have the mahogany trees, which means we are getting close. So these are mahogany trees. They look really cool, I think, personally. There's some lumberjacks here, some woodland snails. There's a lumberjack who's currently in the middle of chopping down a tree. And here we go we have the sheep farm. Now this sheep farm has enchanted sheep and some radiant sheep. Now there's like five of them here, which is actually better than the number that's inside Tortuga. Um, so this is where you wanna go if you wanna find radiant sheep. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cords up here for those of you that need it. This is the place to go for radiant sheep. There's also an NPC in here actually that sells a mirror shield, which can be really useful when you're fighting these sheep. And if I can find the door to this house, I'll show you. What the heck? Oh, wow, that was bad. All right. So for uh, a, a elite number of coins, a sapphire and ten glass pane, you can use a uh, you can block by right clicking and use the shield in order to be able to block magical sheep attacks, which is really useful. Um, it used to be more useful when magical sheep attacks were like deadly because magic defense wasn't working right but it's still pretty good and actually there's some cocoa here which i don't remember seeing before but if you want to farm cocoa without traveling to pyre this is another option in fact this is probably well it might be close to storage but i think the pyre one's right next to the deposit chest if you can unlock that so it's not the closest spot anyway guys this is the sheep farm thank you very much for watching uh hopefully this video helped you please like it please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more helpful videos or just more content uh, in general. Thank you. Bye.